Hey, oh, of course, I don't mean to get it. Just like when. They brought back rocks last time when they made a trip to the moon. Do you believe that? <laughs> nope. Ain't nobody been there. You don't believe they've been to the moon? No, no. Ain't nobody been to no moon. Well, Walter, that's the view of a 130-year-old man. Now back to you. Well, Bruce, uh, Charlie Smith is not the only fellow. Who Neil Armstrong said that he never been. He was supposed to be a part of that mission. But a man might not be as crazy as people think he is. I think someone needs some medical assistance over here. Y'all check this shit out. Someone needs medical attention and all. We have all these doctors on stage for Camilla about abortions. And not one of them got off stage to go help whoever needed help. Check this shit out. Unbelievable. And watch, she's gonna go right back to talking. Unbelievable. I thought they were there to save lives. Look. But the fake ass doctors. Look! I can't believe Another one, medical assistance. They're good. So, nationwide, nearly seven in ten. How about that, y'all? Went right back to the abortions. Didn't give a damn about the people that was in the audience passing out. Yeah, I, I have nothing to say. We are fighting for America's future. And we understand the opportunity we have before us to turn the page on the fear. Please listen along with me to this very important message from a member of our entertainment community. Hey everyone, it's Billy. Um, I don't post videos like this often, uh, but I will regret it if I don't. It's two weeks till the election. I'm getting a lot of texts and feeling a lot of people panicking. Yeah. And then other people saying, no, 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 don't panic, don't panic. And I think those people are wrong. It is time to fucking panic. It is. Yep. Okay? Yeah. And not just panic, no. but to do something about it. Yes. Because, uh, like many people are saying today, the polls are not good. He's a fucking yeah. Nepo baby, yeah. incompetent motherfucker who is mentally disintegrating in front of our eyes. <laughs> and his voters don't seem to care. Yeah. So Why? it's going to be up to the rest of us. I see uh, young people saying they're the same, or I hate him, but I don't know if I can vote for her. What the fuck are you talking yeah. about? Um, please get involved. get involved. He is a danger yeah. to the physical safety of American citizens everywhere. Donald Trump, in his first term, managed to overturn Roe v. Wade <laughs> and eliminate the right for women federally. <laughs> Imagine what he is going to do in a second <gasps> term when he's more confident, oh my God. has less fucks to give, Shit. is more empowered, and honestly seems more organized. Yeah. Project 2025, <laughs> which is truly horrific, and <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. points to all of that. So please, do what you can, do it. because we will live to regret it if we don't. We have two weeks. We will live to, we will live to regret it if we don't. Even the people voting for him will Especially live to regret them. It. And um, that's it. Thank you for listening. Man, you know it's got to be bad when they cracking like this and calling for help and just pushing the narrative that he's this type of man and that type of man because they know that everybody's pretty much made their decision. It's crazy when you think about it, though. Away from Japan for the Trump rally. Passport is sightseeing, but actually, this way we are attending Trump rally. That's the, my purpose. Man, you know it's crazy when they coming all the way from China just to help support. This ain't even a country, bro.
it's imperative when other people in other countries want a certain person to be president that should tell you about the current administration they not just affecting us they affecting the world do y'all even understand what we just saw last night at the rally i can't even show you what's happening behind me but basically multiple people were passing out and having seizures at that rally the one with beyonce and the other people but the timing is absolutely insane. Many of the people started just collapsing when these people were on freaking stage. How crazy is that? What we are witnessing are full-blown demonic manifestations in the physical realm while these people are speaking. Do y'all really need to see more proof that wicked spirits are behind this? We had a supporter yelling at a little child. Look at this. Like, how obvious is it if your eyes are open, that is? And thank God for some common sense. Look at her face. She, she's not putting up with that. But you won't find much common sense with these rallies. And here's exactly what I mean. People are passing out and the doctors are asking if there's any doctors there. Nationwide. I, I think someone needs some medical assistance over here. They are falling for the bait. Tony Hitchcliffe, host of the number one live comedy show on YouTube, Kill Tony, just did a comedy set at the Madison Square Garden Trump rally leaving the Democrats fuming. So much so that AOC and Tim Walz stopped everything they're doing just to react to the clip. Yet I'm assuming they don't know who Tony Hitchcliffe is. A gay man known for his politically incorrect sense of humor. But the Democrats would rather pick apart every small thing this man said and claim it as a statement instead of what it actually was, a joke. With Tony Hinchcliffe's recent reaction being, these people have no sense of humor. And then bashing the presidential VP for taking time out of his busy schedule to analyze an out of context joke he also claims that he loves Puerto Rico, vacations there all the time, and he made fun of everyone during that set, encouraging others to watch the whole thing, and that it's maybe time for Tim to change his tampon. With a week left of the election, Donald Trump will have Democrats arguing about politically incorrect jokes than actual policies. Tony was the bait, and the Democrats took it. They might be cooked. Y'all need to see this. So the Joe Rogan and Trump podcast just came out a few minutes ago, and Trump said something very, very subtle. I want to see if you guys hear it. Trust me, this is big. Who would want people to come in pouring into our country? We don't know anything about it. But that's, I want to ask you this. Why do you think they're doing that? I think because... Do you they, think they're trying to votes? I, do you think I, they just I want think, cheap labor? Like, what is, what's okay, the idea? There's, there's a couple of theories. They hate our country, they're stupid, or they want to buy votes. It's one of those three things. Yeah. They want it. Now, they are trying to get people registered. They're trying to get people amnesty, people that live here. They're trying to give them citizenship. They want to give them citizenship. And they want to... Well, and how about what if you think about the amount of money that they've given them when they've come here, the yeah. food stamps, the benefits that even our poor people aren't getting? $200 million, and, and that's a way low number. That's a way low. You know, it's, it's interesting. New York has always been like, you know, sort of like always looking for money. They've spent $100 billion on this stuff. I, I don't know where they... And they're not getting the money from the federal government. It's crazy. Y'all heard that, right? He literally just said that they're not getting the money from the federal government for these people coming in. Which means, who is the money coming from? If it's not coming from the feds, and it's not coming from taxes or anything else, that means there's a party or organization where the money is coming from. I hope y'all get it. Now watch the rest of it. And because the mayor came out and said, we can't live like this. They investigated him. He got said, I, by the way, I called it. I said he just got himself indicted. And there's a lot more stuff for y'all to hear in this podcast. It's on YouTube right now. Go watch it. Yeah, Trump said a lot, a lot of stuff in that podcast. And if you really sat through the whole thing, you really had to listen. But he was giving you some key things. And uh, he was letting you know that, you know, he got some things already in the works, man. So, you know, uh, he gets in the chair, man. Things are most likely going to be looking up. Just in your opinion, because I want to get this on the table. What is the single thing that she has done uh -huh. to improve the lives of Americans? I mean, we could talk about her time as the DA. We could talk about her time um, as, a, as California's attorney general. Yeah. I guess my question to you is, what are the constitutionally prescribed roles of a vice president that she failed to... Okay, yeah, I'm actualize. glad you asked. So she was in charge of two things. She was in charge of the Russian-Ukrainian war before it happened, and she was in charge of the border 
She was and the mixed. withdrawal from Afghanistan. And the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Those three things. The border, we have 10 million illegal people that have come to this country under her watch. She gave a speech at the Munich Security Conference where Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine and all but invited Vladimir Putin's invasion. And then she was in charge of withdrawal of Afghanistan. Are those three successful things that we can look to as Kamala Harris being VP? Well, you know, it's really funny because speaking of that 10 million immigrant point, I would be more mad at Kamala Harris if they didn't try to pass a border bill, if they didn't try to pass a I border would be more bill. Yeah, but we don't need new border laws as exhibited by Donald Trump because under Donald Trump, we didn't have any new border laws and border crossings were at an all time low. Instead, Joe Biden and Kamala when? Harris when Donald Trump was president what from time 2017 to 2021. There, I think there was, was a president. specific period of time and it was an all-time low. Yeah, it was, the, it was an all-time low on an average over the four years of Trump being president. But the first thing Joe Biden and Kamala Harris did is they rescinded 65 executive actions that Donald Trump put into place. For example, DNA testing. If I were to ask you how many kids right now are missing from the southern border, how many would you say? I'm pretty sure you all say something like 350,000. Yeah, so 320,000 like kids are missing, many of whom are being sex trafficked. Do you know why that is? Because Kamala Harris got rid of DNA testing on the southern border, where you no longer have to be swabbed. DNA test takes 90 seconds to find out if a kid is related to the person that is bringing them across the border. So Kamala Harris has been responsible for the border, which is one of the greatest failings in modern American history. Man, the fact that people got to have these conversations and they still try to uh, justify what the current administration did um, as far as the border goes is crazy to me when y'all know we never had this type of crisis at the border before this it's obvious it just don't make sense to me man okay they told us about these demon face syndrome people were going to start showing up remember the media told us that this is famous youtuber fussy tube check out this weird interaction he had at this bar with this individual over here this is by any means not a normal interaction at all y'all check this out and let me know what you guys think from the time he comes sit down just watch him y'all look at this he feels the energy look at him because y'all know how when someone's looking at y'all Y'all seen his eye? Y'all seen his eye as soon as he stood up? Hold on. So y'all, I caught this as soon as he stood up. Watch his right eye. Watch this. Bro, did you guys see how fast that eye jumped up? Independently too, look. What? This thing continues to go on and it only gets more weird, y'all. Check this out. He doesn't say a word. She's trying to speak to him in Spanish and he's not even understanding. Y'all look at his neck. <laughs> Just look at him. <laughs> Just the way that they're talking to him too. Look at the way he stares at the cookie when she offers him it. Oh my goodness. So what do y'all think this is, y'all? This is a weird interaction on all levels. I'm excited to read your comments down below and share this video. Let's get this shift. Peace in. Either he is some type of demon or some type of, I don't know what to call it, or he's high on something. Is his father's name Christ and his mother's name Mary? It sure is. That's next on the trumpet. Frederick Christ Trump Sr. is the father of Donald Trump. And you can see right here that Mary is the mother of Donald Trump. His middle name is in the Bible as a messenger of God. That's going to be John right there. It's over. The guy does not drink alcohol. The angel instructed his mother that you should name him John and that he should not drink wine nor strong drink. I mean, I have some antique Bibles and some really cool religious items, but I do not have a replica of the Ark of the Covenant in my house. And he does. And that right there, that was a miracle. You know me and my family love you, so like and follow the trumpet for more. And in Jesus' name, have a blessed day. You know, I wonder if there's any kind of significance to his name and his dad's name. But, you know, people name their kids names out of the bibles all the time so i don't know what y'all think 
This was the shocking moment caught on camera. Video obtained by our NBC affiliate CARE 11 shows David Montori trimming a tree outside his Minneapolis home Wednesday when according to court documents, a bullet was fired from his neighbor's upstairs window. The bullet like went down um, through my neck and then all the way back to my spine. Matori told NBC affiliate CARE 11 he's also recovering from broken ribs and a concussion. Adding, the last 11 months since he and his wife moved in, they've been living a nightmare next door to John Shawshack. Court documents show the victim called police 19 times prior to the shooting for incidents including harassment, hate speech, and verbal threats. It also says Shawshack suffers from mental illness. Shawshack has been charged with attempted murder, but he is not in jail. Police allowing him to stay in his home because they say he's a threat to himself and others. The likelihood of an armed, violent confrontation where we may have to use deadly force with the suspect in this case is high. That excuse sparking community outrage. We have to take violent criminals off the street. <laughs> so I'm not a police officer. I don't know how that gets done, but I know it needs to get done. Police say Shawshank rarely leaves his home and the department has not set an arrest date. We are not going to bust the door down, guns blazing, and get into a deadly force situation. But we will ensure the community will be safe. Matori says he feels the Minneapolis... Now that's crazy. It kind of reminds me of that movie with Samuel L. Jackson, Lakeview Terrace. Except the man is white in this situation that harassed the black man. It's crazy, man. <clears throat> It's beginning, y'all. They're trying to sabotage these ballot boxes. Uh, prison reform, second chance. Alice Johnson, John Fonda are here. So many different people are here. We had 10,000 faith leaders. Is Alice Johnson here? She's here, Alice. Where are you? Oh. Give a big... Alice! I love Alice. And, and oh, wow. Hi. Yeah? Is it going well? She's a great woman. Amen. You know what she would, should I tell just a second of your story? Because she was put in prison for being on a phone call. She wasn't making it, she was on a call, and it had to do with things that pretty much are almost legal today. And she was on a phone call having to do with drugs, and she was having a hard time. And uh, they gave her like 50 years in jail, and a group of people came over and they made me aware of it and I said that sounds very unfair and she had already served is it 22 or 23 years Alice or something right 23 I mean think of it she had like 28 years left and first I gave her a commute and then I gave her a full pardon and I called her in so good to see you I called her in and she came to the the Oval Office I said so how many people are, because she's a great woman, she's a really good woman, too, a uh, good person. And I said, how many people are like you in jail? She said, a lot. I said, everybody? Because I was testing her, because I know some, some deserve to be there, right? Alice, if you would have said everybody, I wouldn't have probably listened. <laughs> she said, no, no, by no means. Some are very bad people, you know, rough people. But she said, uh, some are great. I said, can you give me a list? And she gave me a list of a lot of good people that are right. I hear they're doing really well, too. So we, we got them out of jail, too. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Alice. We love Alice. See, it's the secret dealings that people have personal relationships with Trump that, that and they spread it the word and other people... You know, word of mouth is crazy. And other people have been like, wow, he did that. And it's changing how people look at the man. You know, I don't know if it was this was a ploy to get votes. But I say anybody that helps somebody that's not of their race got to be a good person. It can't be just for it. It, it can't be just for votes because this happened when he was in office. So he wasn't looking for votes. So I'm just saying, man something to think about i'm joe biden i'm jill biden's husband <clears throat> go thank you for the introduction what and to the gila 
Indian River community, the Healy, yeah, Healy, uh, the wrong name. Healy River Indian community. This can't be the same Joe Biden that was just talking, was at a funeral talking to Barack Obama. It can't be. Donald Trump won't be the next president of the United States. That being said, he will win on November 5th. The establishment and all of their power will do anything possible to ensure that he does not become the next president of the United States. When we wake up November 6th, he will have secured enough votes in enough states to be the president of the United States of America. But Kamala will not certify it. I guarantee it. They will drag this out as long as possible likely past January 20th. And the left will be cheering the entire time. And my prediction is that by January of 2025, there will be enough civil unrest in this country that they will declare martial law. At which point, every law that is on the books goes out the table. Biden will step down or be stepped down and Kamala Harris will be declared the next president. And after that, who knows what happens. I think we actually do know, but for the purpose of this video, who knows? I can see something like that happening because they are angry right now because they know that they're losing. So, yeah, I don't put it past them. Here's Donald Trump's new tax plan in less than 60 seconds. First, he wants overtime wages to be exempt from taxes completely, which will be a massive tax break for millions of employees logging overtime hours. He also wants tips to be exempt from taxes, which means restaurant and hospitality workers will pay zero taxes on their tip income. He also wants social security income to be exempt from taxes, which costs some retirees an extra 50 to 85% in taxes when withdrawing their benefits. And for businesses, he wants to decrease the corporate tax rate again from 21 to 20% and even as low as 15% for certain corporations who produce goods in the US. Plus some of the tax cuts he implemented in 2017 are set to expire and his plan is to make those tax cuts permanent. Now his administration plans to pay for these tax cuts by cutting spending and adding an additional 10 to 20% tax on imports or in other words, a tax on foreign goods brought into our country. Vacations with the spacecraft have been perfect. Here is Bruce Hall. He's with Charles Smith. He's a 130-year-old former slave who came to this country 118 years ago. He's here for the launch of Apollo 17. Bruce Hall, come in. We have here among the VIPs of one very unusual man. He's at least 130 years old. His name is Charles Smith. And do you believe it really happened? You said they would never go to the moon. No, they ain't going to. I tell them that nobody's going to leave it. I said, no, ain't nobody going to the moon. No. What are they going to stop uh, in, in, up there? What are going to hold that plane up in there? What are they going to hold it up there? The moon ain't going to hold it. Oh, they've been before? The moon ain't, oh, of course, I don't bring them it. Just like me. They brought back rocks last time when they made a trip to the moon. Do you believe that? No, nope. ain't nobody been there. You don't believe they've been to the moon? No, no. Ain't nobody been to no moon. Well, Walter, that's the view of a 130-year-old man. Now back to you. Well, Bruce, uh, Charlie Smith is not the only fellow who doesn't believe that man has gone to the moon. It's not as ridiculous a thought as you as you might think, or any of us might think. Seems a little bit odd now, but uh, I've talked to a lot of people around the world, and uh, some rather intelligent ones, who uh, somehow or other uh, just cannot accept the fact and, and believe that uh, that uh, man really hasn't done it, that somehow or other it's a big hoax. I've uh, found them many places. I don't know, maybe you have as well, Wally. And uh, it, it really isn't uh, It really isn't anything uh, that unusual. Right, right at this moment, uh, we're about to get... Even Neil Armstrong said that he never been. He was supposed to be a part of that mission. But a man might not be as crazy as people think he is. I have one question for you, then I'm getting out of here. Can we set up Doge? How much do we, you think we can rip out of this wasted $6.5 trillion Harris Biden budget? 
I, I think we, we can do at least two trillion. Easy. Yeah! Elon Musk is about to pump the fuck out of Dogecoin. If Trump wins next week, guess what Elon Musk is about to do? Introducing the Department of Government Efficiency, which is Doge. Look at the fucking engagement on this shit, dude. I'm very confident that if Donald Trump wins, Elon Musk gets to do this, you're gonna see Dogecoin pump like shit. Pair that with X payments. This coin could be the biggest no-brainer of 2024. What do you think? I'm definitely throwing me a few coins into Doge. Because Doge took off like this before in the past. And crypto is going to be the new thing, y'all. So y'all might want to study it and, you know, look on YouTube for it, man, and try to figure out how to invest in these things because it's coming. After his super popular three-hour interview with Donald Trump, Joe Rogan just let everybody know, hey, I'm still trying to get Kamala. And Kamala said she's into it. But wouldn't you know, girlfriend got some demands. Here are the three things that must happen if Kamala's going to even think about sitting down for the Joe Rogan experience. Number one, in this post on X, Joe Rogan said that the interview was going to happen on Tuesday, which is today. I'm guessing it's not happening on Tuesday. Plus, the vice president demanded that Joe Rogan travel to see her instead of her coming to his now iconic and much beloved studio in Austin, Texas. You'll notice Donald Trump had no problem going to Austin, Texas for the interview. Just saying. And last but not least, and this is probably the most crucial part, Kamala Harris's team said she would only sit down for one hour. One hour. I'm going to be honest with you, that's like 59 more minutes than most of us can actually stand. After the success of the interview with President Trump, Joe Rogan pushed back on the vice president and said, look, I really think that in the studio in Austin, Texas, in a relaxed environment is the best place to have an honest conversation. In fact, he asked his audience their thoughts. Austin, Texas podcast or let her walk? Thoughts? People had some thoughts. One of them was Elon Musk. He commented, hour two would have been a meltdown. I just literally can't even imagine what hour three would be. Just to put that in perspective, Elon Musk is a guy who can imagine robots driving us around in cars and spaceships that take us safely to Mars. But the one thing he can't imagine is a three hour conversation with Kamala Harris. Or maybe he just doesn't want to. I guess they got to do it to make it fair. But to be honest with you, man, we don't really need to hear nothing else from her. But, you know, in all fairness, they got to do it because Trump was on the show already. So, you know, he would receive a bunch of backlash if he did. I wasn't going to say anything, but I have breaking news for you, Mr. President. You may not have heard this. Just moments ago, Joe Biden stated that our supporters are garbage. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. So you have, remember Hillary, she said deplorable, and then she said irredeemable, right? But she said deplorable, that didn't work out. Garbage, I think, is worse. Hey, guys, check out this amazing video of a UFO spotted near South Korea. This video was taken many, many years ago, back in 2005. It went viral all over YouTube, all over the internet, and now we're bringing it back to you so we could show you guys that this might have been a real UFO sighting. As you guys could see, this UFO is illuminated and seems to be releasing some type of orbs into the atmosphere. Whatever it's doing, it's absolutely stunning. I've never seen a UFO video this good. And I gotta say, it's one of my favorite UFO videos ever. What do you guys think this is? Please comment below. Also guys, support my channel. Repost the video, share it with the people that follow you. And um, just wanna say thank you to everybody. Comment below guys, thanks. I'm so scared right now. So I'm minding my business, right? You fuck like this. Y'all hear that? What the fuck is that? Okay, I just realized you guys can see where it was from. It's from Shane. He said, oh, I really like these. Oh, look.
What the fuck is this? What? I'm gonna have an anxiety attack, bro. What the fuck? What is this? That's crazy. They putting trackers in the clothes. And specifically women clothes, bro. From these websites, Sheen, bro. This this this, this can't be good for Sheen. It's wild out here, y'all. Do you sympathize with any voters who do feel offended by or insulted by the garbage comments? I am Michael President of the United States. I will be traveling to three states today to do what I have been doing throughout, which is talking with the American people about the fact that, first of all, I get it in terms of the concerns they have about challenges like the price of groceries. Come on now. You know that ain't true. Well, I'm telling what y'all like to check this out. Mm -mm, we'll go again if it ain't one thing, it's another. Kamala Harris and the Breakfast Club, they be up to no good, man. They tried to set the boy 50 Cent up today. So 50 Cent does the interview with him today. Good interview. And right at the end, they started asking him about Donald Trump. I heard Donald Trump, you know, asked you to come out to a couple of his events. And they tried to pay you. And would you ever do anything like that? And he was like, nah, because I don't really want to get into politics. Because politics can, you know, ruin your career. All kind of things come with politics. So right at the end of it, DJ Envy says, okay, we got to wrap this. We got to wrap this up because Kamala Harris is on the other line. And Charlamagne was like, oh, yeah, that's a phone, phone. Don't, don't leave her on hold. Put on speakerphone. 50, do you got anything to say to Kamala Harris? Boom, 50 gets up out of the chair. Damn, y'all trying to set me up. They start laughing about this shit, and Charlamagne asks him again, hey, say something to vice president. You know what I'm saying? Man, 50 Cent walks out the fucking room. Listen here, man. They were trying to, they were trying to set that shit up to make it look like 50 uh, supports whatever Kamala got going on and to get them on a the conversation on the Breakfast Club to make her gain more followers, you basically set this man up. That's the only reason y'all invited him to the show. It ain't for what he got going on. It's not for anything else but y'all fucking political game. That was some slick ass shit and fit the good job of getting the fuck up and walking off. No matter, it don't matter who you are on the phone. It don't care if the president Joe Biden was on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He got up and he walked the fuck off, man. You're not finna get me on phone, on live, on live, or none of this shit, man, to try to, to boost her fucking shit up. Hey, y'all gotta watch these people, man. They It's desperate times. People doing desperate ass shit. And they'll get you caught up in some shit without you even knowing, man. Hey, good job, 50 Cent. Y'all step out there and get it out the mud. 50 Cent is a smart man. I feel personally that no celebrity should get involved with politics at all. Because they're rich. They don't know the struggles anymore. The, the struggles that they once knew when they were, before they were like celebrities, it's, it's not the same. It's totally different. So you don't know the issues, you know? You don't feel inflation. You don't know how it feels. So, yeah, he's a smart man. We only have days left until the actual election, man. And I'm still stuck with that little bit of anxiety because I don't really know what is going, what's going to happen. I don't know. I'm confident that Trump is going to win, but I don't know if him winning is actually a good thing for the country, seeing as we know... The other side will do whatever they can for him to not win. So it, it still kind of wrecks my brain a little bit. Man. But, you know, ain't really much I can really say on this. Once the election is over, and to think about it, once the election is over, there will still be things for me to cover. Because it's not going to be over until the inauguration. So we got a long road ahead of us. I just want to get past the 5th of November so we can endure the next days until the inauguration. Because we don't know what that look like. But I can tell you this, it probably ain't too good. So, you know, there's nothing for me to rant about. And with that being said, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Get in the description, follow all of my social medias. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person. And while you're at it, go check out my last video.